Well, I did a picture with him called Limelight. And in even before Limelight, I had become, I, I think it's fair to say, a friend of his, as my wife did, of Una. Uh, we went out on the boat with them and uh, socially and so forth. This was all rooted, I might add, in tennis. Charlie was passionate about tennis, as I am, and I used to play with him about four times a week. Uh, but out of that grew a real friendship, and one day he asked me if I wanted to be in limelight. Uh, he suggested a part, and I agreed, and had this great experience of doing the last picture he made in this country, which uh, was wonderful to watch because it was a very personal story, limelight. It was really about a man who could no longer make people laugh, and Charlie really felt that he'd lost that ability. And he was an extraordinary man. He was a genius. As George Bernard Shaw said, the movies have produced two geniuses, Mickey Mouse and Charlie Chaplin. And he, to work with, uh, was fascinating because he had his own way. He liked to direct actors, not Nigel Bruce, not myself, not Buster Keaton, but the young people, Sidney and Claire Bloom, whose the first picture was. He liked to do it himself and then have them do it. Well, if you have was possibly the greatest actor in the world doing it. And he says, do it this way. <laughs> you have a little bit of a handicap. But he had great energy. Uh, I think there's a line in Hamlet, rightly to be great is to find quarrel with a straw. I hope I've delivered accurately. Charlie had that.